Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julie. I am a homeschooling mom of five. And in today's video, you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about our math curriculum, teaching textbooks. If you have not heard of teaching textbooks before, if this is new to you, uh, teaching textbooks is a math curriculum. It goes from level three, which typically would be for your grade two or three, student, depending how advanced or what level they're at, um, all the way up to grade 12. This is a program that they do on the computer. All of our kids have started using TT as soon as they get into grade three. My oldest is now in grade seven and he has been using teaching textbooks for, I guess this is his fifth year. And we really enjoy this math curriculum. I have worked with teaching textbooks a few times in the past. And so I am partnering with them again today for this video. Teaching textbooks has been so great to work with, both as a, a client or a customer, I guess, and on this influencer, if that's what you want to call me, um, on that basis. They have just been so good to work with all around, and so I am very happy to recommend this math curriculum to you guys. And so as I said, I have done videos talking about teaching textbooks multiple times in the past, and I don't want to sound like a broken record and always tell you the same things. And so for today's video topic, I want to tell you a few things you might not know about teaching textbooks. And if you're on the fence and you're just not sure, you have a few hangups, you're not quite sure, um, I hope that this answers some of your questions. I have five points to share with you guys today. So point number one, everything is read aloud. The math lectures, the lessons, the solutions, it is all read aloud to your student. If you have a child who learns well by listening, this is a great way to kind of take that reading aspect away. They don't need to focus on reading, they can just focus on the math as everything is read aloud to them. Now I know on my videos, usually if I'm showing my kids using this curriculum, and I probably will do the same in this video, I'll show you the screen and stuff, uh, I'm using B-roll and so there's no audio, and so maybe you're not aware of that, that actually as it's showing these words on the screen, it's also being read aloud to your student. My second point is the ability to re-listen to lectures. So when your child starts this math course, every single lesson starts with a lecture. Again, it's read aloud. Uh, the words are also on the screen, and this is a new math concept that your child is learning at the beginning of each lesson. As they go through and complete some of their problems, if they are having a hard time, they can go back to the beginning and re-listen to the lecture. One thing I love about this ability to go back and re-listen is that, let's say your child learned long multiplication on lesson two. My kids are very independent in their math. I'm not behind them watching them very often. Uh, so I don't always know exactly <laughs> what they're doing in their math. And so they do lesson two, maybe they get to lesson five and they're like, I am having such a hard time with this problem. I don't know how to do this. Up in the upper right corner of that question on the screen, it will show this was taught in lesson Two, it will show you when that was taught. And so that is just a super easy way to see that in the corner and say, okay, uh, you're having trouble with this. Let's go back to that lesson, back to lesson two, and you can rewatch that lecture to refresh your memory on how to solve this problem. Now for me with my older kids, sometimes I they'll have an issue and they'll call me over and I'll see that, let's rewatch this lecture. And I will say, why don't you go back and rewatch that lecture to remind, you know, to get reminded how to do this. But it's for myself also, <laughs> I might not say that, but I'll be like, let's go rewatch this together and I will watch it with them uh, because I might need a little refresh. Yes, my oldest is only in seventh grade, but there are still some things I need to be refreshed on. And so I can go back and watch it with my child and then also help them through how to solve that problem. I love how simple it is for myself or for my student to easily know where to go back and watch. There's no searching like, where was this introduced? Where can I go back and check that? It is just so simple. My third point is free tutoring. This is a service I have not used as of yet. The, all of my other points are things that I enjoy using, but this one, I just find it such a 
pro such a positive to this math program while we have not used it yet it is just great peace of mind knowing that it is an option a free option if your child is struggling and you aren't quite able to help them you can call customer service let them know what um what lesson your child is on what level they're on and they will call right back and walk your child through that question and the answer being a very independent curriculum part of teaching textbooks goal is to take the burden of um, teaching math off of parents shoulders and so this is a way that they ensure that they are always there to help your child I'm on to my fourth point and I have a battery light flashing so we'll see hopefully I can make it through this before my camera completely dies or we might have to take a little break but my fourth point is that there is a pause feature so like I said this is a an online course when you sign your child up for a level of math you are getting 12 months access to the course. So you have 12 months, which should be plenty of time for your child to complete um, a, a math level, but you do have the ability to pause it and then you are extending your time. You always have 12 months, not on pause, available for your child to do their math. So for instance, if you decide, we're gonna take a month off of at Christmas, you can just go on and pause your math subscription, and then you will still have access to that course for an extra month after Christmas. So for instance, for us, we have had kids that have started a math level partway through the school year, like maybe they start in January. So we'll start in January, go till June. We will take July and August off. So we will pause that math and then our subscription won't end in January. It will be extended until March. And for my kids, that has always been plenty of time, but that pause feature is nice. We have definitely used it a few times. And you can pause for a total of up to 90 days, but each time you do pause the course, you need to be pausing for at least seven days. My fifth and final point is the offline use. So as I said, this program is on the computer. So once you buy, the course, the 12 month course, you have to download an app and your math lessons will all be on this app. Your teaching textbooks dashboard will download six lessons at a time right to the app. So every time your app is loaded, the next six lessons get downloaded. And so this is a great option, gives you the avail availability, the ability to use this math program while you're offline. When you load your app, every lesson that is currently downloaded will show on the bottom right corner, it will show available offline for all lessons that are currently downloaded. It's just a nice option for the majority of the time we are online, we're doing math at home and it's just, it's just fine, we're online. But we have had some random days where all of a sudden our, we wake up and our internet's not working for half a day or something. And it's just nice peace of mind knowing we do have six lessons always downloaded. So even if we're offline for a week, <laughs> we can still complete our week of school um, doing all those math programs, all those math lessons offline. So, so close. I almost made it before my camera failed and died on me. But I had one little bonus point I wanted to mention, and this goes right along with my fifth point, but that is that you can seamlessly uh, go from one device to the next. So for my son, he's in grade seven, he's doing math seven, and he does this math every day on our desktop computer. But let's say we had an appointment to go to tomorrow, I could just pull up his math seven app. So every level of teaching textbooks has its own app. So you have a math seven, you have a math six, you have a math five. I could pull up the math seven app on the tablet, bring that with us to an appointment or something, and he could do his math at the appointment instead of having to wait until we're back on the desktop. So as long as both devices have been connected to the internet recently and are up to date on what lesson your child is on, you can very seamlessly move from one device to another. I hope that was helpful if you are considering teaching textbooks for your kids. As I said, we have no issues with it and it's just been a great, a great fit 
for math for our kids. Thanks again to Teaching Textbooks for sponsoring today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you very soon. Subscribe if you want to see lots more homeschool content from me. We'd love to have you here. Bye-bye.